Yep, <laughs> it's that kind of a day. Morning, it is Sunday, March 29th. Cheers. There you go. I just want to start by saying thank you so much for taking the time to reply to my last video, to vlog or not to vlog. From what I've read is that most of you are keen on me showing stuff that are what I call off the beaten path. Stuff that I make on the side apart from my step-by-step uh, -step or processes videos. And no, I will never stop, ever, ever stop making uh, art-related videos because that's what this channel is all about. <sighs> did I clear things up? I hope I did. Anyways, okay, so now I thought I would answer some of your questions and read some of the comments because some of them are quite funny. Um, <laughs> Heather at Craft Shack. If you weren't so entertaining, I would say never again, but I just adore you and your spirits. And then she, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then she goes, at the end, she goes, let's hire a film crew just to follow you around. Ha, ha, ha. Please don't. <laughs> You'll be bored. Here's one that I wanted to address, and, and that's going to go with what uh, I said at the beginning. She's saying, I enjoy your art and your chats. I love the video. Okay. She says, I agree with the, this was fun and would be a nice change once in a while, but I enjoy your art and your chats. The chats is essentially what I'm doing right now. And last uh, Thursday's vlog is just something that I experimented with. But this, this is what I consider a chat. So I don't know if what you, you know that there's not a big difference between okay this is what i'm trying to say there's not a big difference between a vlog and a chat it's just another word to call what i'm doing right now i am kind of talking to the camera it's totally not it's it's unstructured it's talking about this and that uh i feel that people think that a vlog is just relating to a personal life because there's a lot of vloggers out there that do that uh my vlogs will always be art related always um and I've, I've talked about that at the beginning so i think that you get the gist <laughs> i love the name little red wagon studio is that it yeah little red wagon studio steffi i call my daughter steffi all the time or stufi or stoof you know uh she's so funny she says as long as i get to have coffee with you at least once a week have a great day cheers <laughs> aaron <laughs> aaron's so funny he said yes to the vlogs um, Aaron, where are your vlogs? Hmm? Okay, Robin. <laughs> and I don't know if Robin is a guy or a girl. It could be both, right? Okay, he or she says, Your life seems interesting. A life of an artist. Yeah, makeup is not important. I love to watch you to your tubes uh, while I fall asleep. <laughs> that must be very boring. If I put you to sleep, awesome. If you can sleep a good night, that's great. Uh, a lot of you like to curl up in bed with my says the same thing so Lucina you must know Robin because you do the same thing too you like to curl up in bed and watch my videos that's good I'm now looking at the comments for the 100 artworks my second cityscape so this is the piece I did that with Neo Colors Lynn says that Neo Colors are her favorite one of her favorites yes and she has other brands too and they're not as vibrant that is really true I also have another brand I have some by Stampin' Up and they're nice they're really great but the tones are more muted the colors are not vibrant. It's not, I think, I feel that they're not as pigmented as the uh, Neo colors. Aaron, <laughs> I love the mistakes. It's always been a mistake, which has helped me learn and grow. Yes, Aaron, you got it. Awesome. Yes, true. Uh, this is how you learn. And this is why I'm showing you my mistakes. I, you know, I've said that in the past. I feel like I keep repeating myself on that, but I feel like I should have turned on my light here. Hang on, let me just Go turn it on. It's a little bit better. I should have done that from the start. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, and Robert says, um, yeah, he says that by, outli <laughs> by outlining the black there, it makes the clouds pop. Um, but he also likes the use of the white neo color. And you can watch it step by step, by the way, on this. Oh, I have to share that with you. This was a perfect explanation of what I meant by the roots. Oksana says, uh, I watched some film about how they built those tall buildings in in the desert of the United Arab Emirates. And the makers of the film were smart enough to visualize many details that are not clear for non-specialists, just like they do in educational programs for kids. Their buildings indeed have roots, 
really long constructions underneath to make buildings stable and strong. It was amazing, just like your art. Oh, thank you. But yeah, that's true. Every building has to have a root system underneath. Um, yeah, mine is the black blurb. <laughs> Blob. <laughs> Stephanie says, does it ever end? She's referring to the fact that I've showed Neo colors and now she wants them. Steffi, it never ends. Tour guide Ali says that um, the clouds remind her of a map of Great Britain. If I look at it from afar, it does look like Great Britain. Here. <laughs> totally unintentional. That's so funny. Miriam wants to know how I come across challenges. Do you find them yourself? If so, how or do they approach you? No, I've never really been approached for a challenge. I find some of them myself. The particular 100 artworks was found by uh, Giselle. She sent me to the Facebook or the website, uh, Kelly's website. So that's how I found that. Regina wants to know if I'm thinking about archival qualities at all. No, I don't. <laughs> Never ever. If an art piece is meant to last a long time, it will against all odds, I feel like. So I never really think about that, no. I create with what I have and that's the way it goes. Okay, uh, Knit Baker says, uh, CC, I understand gesso prepares a surface for pigments to adhere, but I wondered if you send the dry gesso layer. I ask this because some use gesso which is super smooth and I'm not sure which way to go, smooth or gritty surface. Depends on what you want to do. The Liquitex Professional is very grainy, very gritty. I mean, here, you can probably hear the sound that it makes. It's even grainier than the Tim Holtz sanding block with the sanding paper that it comes with, just to give you an idea. So it is very gritty. No, I did not sand this. Uh, I didn't need to. If you're using a smooth gesso, well then, you know, um, I feel that if you are sanding it, you might remove some of it. So you have to be prepared to, uh, for that to happen. Okay. I'm going to show you something that I made that is a work in progress slash experiment turned not so great, but I have found how to do it and we'll I'm very shy to show you this piece okay Don't laugh. this is a drawing or painting that I started it's a watercolor it is done on Arches hot pressed watercolor paper it's very smooth as opposed to cold press but I wanted to make kind of like a bokeh effect do you know what a bokeh is it's like when you take a picture with a very good camera and you have a lot of lights around surrounding your subject because of how you focus the lights become like little blobs if you look them up really close they are hexagonal hexagonal it's an hexagon shape and that's what i was trying to do i found a picture on pinterest um, like a photograph and i was trying to emulate it on watercolor paper and i tried all kinds of things i tried with the watercolor i tried with oil pastel it did not work. And then while I was doing this, I found, I figured it out how to do it. So I'm going to redo that piece because I have a very hard head. Okay. Oh, I want to show you something funny. And last night, Steph was over and I was uh, making a salad with baby bok choy. Like the, the base is about this small. And as I was chopping one, I saw that it made like a flower. It was so cool. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if I can paint with it or stamp with it. <laughs> and this is what I did. <laughs> Check these out. I made a whole bunch here on this page. Look at them, they're so cute. <laughs> the blue, the, the like the bright blue ones. <gasps> well, that's fun. You can use whatever you want, right? All right, now I have gotten some Happy Mail this week and I never get to film that. I don't know why. I got a cool card from Rita. She's received my uh, postcard because she had sent me a postcard and she sent me this card. Check this out. I feel that this is a print of what she did on jelly plate, on a jelly plate. Look at that. How cool is that? So thank you so much, Rita. She says, there are only a few people who I know I will watch everything they post and you are definitely on that list. Thank you. That's so sweet. I have something that came from Belarus. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Irina, Irina. She sent me this awesome card that she made. This is her postcard. And it's got like... Um, modeling paste and all kinds of mark makings love that the background is english 
and she's actually an English teacher in uh, Belarus. So I find this is really cool. Like I get a piece of English from so far away. I love that. She sent me text paper. Oh, so excited in uh, in her language, I guess. Check these out. These, oh, I love it. Full paper that I can use in my um, art journaling. She sent me some ribbon and stamps because she wants me to write her back. So I will definitely write you back, Arena. Look how gorgeous they are. And a heart and some butterfly stickers. But check out her, her envelope. I love it. And she wrote, mail art, happy mail. Isn't that fun? I, I feel that she used a magazine um, paper and she's included all kinds of little images and whatnot. I love getting that. Anything handmade, ah, oh, awesome. And the last one I received was from Dana. Now Dana, you've probably seen one of the products that she sent me. This is the Pico Embellisher by Imagine Crafts. And I used that in my last DLP video. It's got like a very, very fine tip. Super fine. And it's got that metal piece that goes in so it won't clog up on you. So that's what I used to write. But there's also another tip, which is a bigger one right here. A very opaque black liquid inside. And she was telling me that there's uh, a masking fluid that comes in a very fine tip and you can actually write with it. And it's made by a company called Fine Line. I have empty bottles by Fine Lines and I love that. This one in particular is filled with masking fluid and I'm dying to try it. And it comes with that fine tip. And also it's got that, uh, that uh, piece that goes in so that to prevent from clogging. So I cannot wait to use that. And in one of my videos, uh, one of the comments was saying, how can you write with masking fluid? This is what I would use. But if you wanna write also with masking fluid that comes in a bottle, you just use a very fine tip brush. The last thing she included, which I love, she did a, she made an ATC, look how cute this is. And it's got a fleur de lis. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to keep all of what you guys make, except for the stuff that's sent to me so that I can make art with it. But ATCs and postcards and letters are all going in a binder. I was gonna do some board in the back, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it all in a binder. All right, so I have a lot of work to do today. I was gonna go and take it easy. I was gonna watch my F1 race, the Malaysian race. I taped it. I will watch it eventually, uh, but I have work to do. I need to edit two videos. I need to do an organizational project, which I have bought a rod for. I told you in my vlog that I was going to go to the Home Depot and buy something. And I was looking at the packaging and then it says installation. Step one, preparing the rod. That scared me. <laughs> I am not very manually inclined. I hope I can do this. I hope it works. And if it does or doesn't, I will still show you. But it's a storage solution for my stencils. They're busting out of my binder. So I needed to find another solution and I think I come up with a good one. So I will share that with you in my next video or so. And that's it. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I hope that I've cleared things up. Art is not going to disappear. You're just going to get more uh, in a less formal way. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and I will see you later. Bye!